Okay, looks like we're up. <clears throat> I'm just in the midst of getting started. I'm going to share this out real quick. I'll be back in about 20 seconds. Hmm. All right, we're going to get. Uh, well, I'll give you an update on where we're at first. Hey Tony, what's going on, man? You uh, clipping cameras, watching movies? I'm gonna experiment with some new technology. Uh, if you saw my post on Advanced After Combat podcast, uh, the not podcast, the um, uh, forum, and also uh, in my uh, big board page. Um, there's this new server tool called uh, Discord. I'm gonna try and use that to stream voice over internet, uh, voice over IP, and uh, also potentially uh, video as well at some point. And we can do that all on the PC. I, I've also got it uh, set up on my phone, but what I'm hoping is that I can get away from having to read text messages from you guys and you guys can chit chat with me, which would be kind of cool. So if you go to the big board page on Facebook, I haven't posted it on Twitter yet, uh, it's, it's called Discord, and if you look for the big board, or big board gaming, I forget what I called it, but uh, check it out and see if that's something that uh, interests you. You can download an app and install it on your phone or on your PC or on your iPad, or the case may be, and join in and, and go for it from there, or you can actually run it from a browser as well. Uh, okay. Hey Mo, how you doing? Uh, so, I think, uh, let me just give you a quick recap where we're at, because I'm actually going to be getting ahead of the videos I've posted here by doing this live cast. So, it's uh, September 12th, which is the third turn. Uh, Germans won initiative again. They had a back-to-back -back turn the last turn. So, uh, the Allies moved, did their thing, only got two SP. <laughs> For the for the uh, for the UK forces, the Commonwealth forces, <clears throat> and then uh, five SP for uh, all of the American forces, which is all of these guys. I just split five five SP across all those, which made it very hard to really get anything done at all. Um, much to my chagrin. So, not a lot happened last turn. Uh, now the Germans picked up initiative in the, on the 12th of September, which is, I think, I think next week, next turn is the Market Garden official turn. I'm not planning a power drop right at this point because I have no, I have no ability to support it or you know create a 30 core column or anything like that. We're uh, planning on focusing on the shelled, but we are so far behind the eight ball on that. I fear that uh, that's gonna end up just being ugly. So I'm gonna actually move the camera over to the other side of the map and we'll kind of carry on from there. And let's see. Um, then uh, you know, I've gotta bring some, some reinforcements on. So this may not be the most engrossing gameplay of all time, but it, uh, hey, it's a live stream, what do you want? Someone told me I had to have something exciting happen every 10 seconds, how about that? Hey, springtime! What's up, man? Yeah, I think I think it's a cool uh, it's a cool piece of technology, and uh, once they have video streaming on there, I certainly will be using it if it can handle it on my phone. Uh, but there we go. Who knows? Angry Bunny is in the house. Ashley, good to see you. He's uh, somewhat of a technology challenge chap, but he's managing to work it out. All right, I gotta swing over to the other side. Grab my combat shards because you never know I might get excited and do something stupid like attack somebody. All right, now I need a notepad. That clock's out. Okay, I guess the sound quality is okay. Otherwise, I would have heard about it by now. Where'd they go? Hello, Clippers. 
Okay. All right, let's have a look at this. Let's see what we're doing here. Okay, I'm gonna put my headphones on fully then since you guys can hear me. I'm not talking out of my breath. Where's the, here we go. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do is bring on a handful of units here. It won't take too long as long as I pay attention. And then we can get started with movement straight off the bat. Um, we need four. I'll show you them in just a second. Try not to bump stuff that's very tight on uh, the map here. Okay. September 12th. A reserve marker, which I think we can find in the box here. So, get a new reserve marker. What I need is some friggin' trucks. Um, uh, 225 Luftwaffe battalions, when you, uh, 222, sorry, Luftwaffe battalions, and I need uh, five of those bad boys. So we just grab any five. We're not gonna be pedantic about having the exact correct battalion in the exactly correct location. It's five of those badasses, They're kind of shitty. Um, and a 223 Luftwaffe uh, Penal Battalion. Let's try and not make any penis jokes while we're here. Can't see it. Does it have a number? This is the exciting stuff. Six, 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 six. It's a 223. You know what? I'm just going to grab this guy. Because I really can't be bothered jacking around with finding the exact unit. And then, oh, oh, that's map B, okay, of course. Map D needs more, we need a reserve marker for map D. I need 113th Pants Brigade, that's awesome, what are those bad boys? Ba -ba -boom. Let's see, 113th, there he is. All four of those guys, the, the little fueling, notional chappy and the three combat units and then I need 17th Panzer 17th SS Panzer Grenadier which um, I'm not even sure I think I've already punched that I don't know where it is though there's only two units out of that bad boy the 38th Panzer Grenadier Regiment 17th artillery, so let's dig them out. Yeah. I'm looking forward to <laughs> packing this game up. This game's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass to pack up, actually. Uh, let's see, what is it? It's a, uh, it doesn't say what it is, that's great. It's 100, what did I say it was? 17th. So it's got to have a stripe on it. That's not it. All right, guys, hang on. Just bear with me here. We're almost finished dicking around with. Where is the frickin'. Hmm. All the, all the black ones, we have them already. So that means they're out here somewhere. Hmm. It's not a good sign. I can't find them. 17th SS Panzer Grenadiers. <clears throat> 17th Panzer Grenadiers. Come on, brother. Maybe it doesn't have a color stripe. Hmm. 38th. I'm thinking it's going to be a smaller unit. Alright. Okay. Fine. Be like that. We'll find it later. I'm not going to jack with it anymore. It's had its three minutes of fame, annoying me. Oh wait, is it on the dead pile? Here it is. So these guys, I know you can see that very well, but trust me, it's there. There's that dude. Now, oh, it's a big ass unit 743. Look at this bad boy. And who said it was bad to be black? Look at that. 
Oh, Tony, you know, sometimes you're just difficult. Oh, we've got questions coming from the angry bunny. Okay, the unit scale varies from sometimes you'll get a company of tanks if it's tiger tanks, and uh, other times you'll, uh, most of the time it's going to be divisions or regiments, but there are lots of battalions in this particular game. And in fact, uh, what we're dealing with here is a different scale than the typical um, OCS title. It's usually five kilometers a hex, but I think here we're dealing with two and a half kilometer hexes. So uh, this is fairly granular and it's a logistics based game which you'll learn all about in just a second. And for Angry Bunny's benefit, it's called OCS, the Operational Combat System. And uh, you can buy these games from Multiman Publishing. You're gonna need quite a bit of room, as you can see. And there's lots of counters on the board. <coughs> Although they are coming out with smaller games. There's a game called Sicily 2 that you can purchase that has uh, one map, I believe. And you can also purchase uh, um, Reluctant Enemies is a one mapper as well. And that's actually a great game to learn the system on. All right, we're just gonna clip these real quick and make them all look all purry. These guys all come on here. They're all map D. And we'll kind of go at it from there. Looks like we lost a view already. Tony got tired of seeing uh, or hearing me clip counters. He didn't get to see anything because I'm doing it behind the screen, which is a bit of tease, isn't it? Oh, I found the penal colony. Here he is. He was sticking out. <laughs> uh, I crack me up sometimes. There's the penal colony right there. It says. You know, you can't even see that. There we go, right there. And now we just need to clip these boys. Oh, that was a limp joke. World in Flames is on Kickstarter. What are they doing? The Ultimate, Ultimate, Ultimate Edition? Hey, uh, is it Michael or Michelle DuPaul? How, how do you like to be uh, pronounced there, my friend? So, we're just gonna quickly crank through these few counters. I'm gonna have to turn the air conditioner back on because it's getting hot in here. It's hot, it's hot. So, all this crap goes down to the south end of the map. I don't need to put the reserve marker down there, but we shall. It goes onto map D. I'll show you map D in a minute. <clears throat> and it comes on the board on map D. It does not uh, have to enter at the edge of the map. You can place it in any, you know, I think it's city or major city. That's kind of the rule. And I've also got eight SP, you know, supply points we need to allocate. We're gonna do some of that action in a second. Yeah, oh, God, yeah, you know what? Whiff can bite me, I'm just not interested. I, I, the scale's wrong for a start, so there you go. Um, I just bought this tonight, so. <laughs> Smooth, so. Totally out of rye and uh, bourbon, which is really kind of sad. Okay, let's see. Let's do this. Now we can start the turn. Did I bring the turn sequence to, with me? Nope. Okay. I didn't fly any aircraft last turn, so I don't have to do anything with uh, refitting or refueling or any of that sort of fun stuff. I'm gonna move my dice tray out of the way. Um, and before I forget, Angry Bunny, I will give you a quick uh, confirmation on scale. 
three and a half miles a hex. I said two and a half, it's three and a half miles. And uh, two turns equal a week. All right, uh, now we've got to kind of concentrate, and this may not be the most exciting live stream in the world because it's uh, there's a, a lot of little stuff to do that's not going to involve me attacking anybody yet, but I've seen some opportunities to beat on the Allies. Okay, didn't mean to disappear on you there. I had to uh, make an equipment change. I was trying to do, I was trying to live stream uh, on Discord at the same time, but I just think it's, uh, having headphones on while I talk is uh, disconcerting, and I'll need to get used to that first. Okay, movement. Uh, these Luftwaffe guys, before we do anything, all these bad boys just come on on the map and they come in a major city, so we can bring them in right here. Uh, it's a bunch of ash and trash. So I'm not sure how we're gonna manage that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, this is kind of the, uh, the love child of the Europa system, but it's, I think, far more refined. There's less complex math involved. I'm not a big fractions guy. I don't like taking two-fifths of anything. So uh, <clears throat> this game works a lot faster and a lot smoother, and its focus is on logistics, not on... Uh, well, whatever's, whatever, whatever Europa's focus was. Uh, I've played enough Europa to know that I don't necessarily uh, like it. It was great for its time, but uh, we have all moved on. Uh, yeah, I do have a Discord channel, Springtime, and it's called, uh, just I think it's called either The Big Board, Big Board, or Big Board Gaming. I forget. It's one of those three things. Um, I shared it on my Facebook page. If you have a look there, you can find it there. The, uh, the big board Facebook page if you're on Facebook. Okay, let's, I, I'm gonna work from the edge of the map in this time, uh, which basically means uh, we can ignore anything that's behind the camera because everything of note is right here. Uh, so we're, we're gonna, I've got a lot of accumulated uh, replacements here and I intend on keeping hold of those for a while because I I just if I do get into some sort of offensive I want to be able to replace my losses so we're gonna hold on to that here's Hitler's brain in case you were wondering what Hitler's brain looked like there it is there it's not as big as everyone thought um, it's a joke, by the way. It's not really Hitler's brain, just in case you're wondering. All right, so we've got a bunch of units with yellow counters on top, and there we're, do we're doing what's called Stratmo, or strategic movement. And so we're trying to move units into a defensive line along the Elbert Canal, basically running from Antwerp up to Maastricht here. And I don't want to over-invest on that line, but I do want to plug the primary holes. Um, uh, yeah, last turn I said I was going to plug that, the last video I did, which you guys haven't seen yet. Uh, and it looks like I forgot to do that, so bygones, we'll fix it now. Uh, the uh, Allies could do nothing about uh, taking advantage of that breach anyway, or, 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 or lapse of uh, judgment. We're going to go to the other side of the table and deal with that side. We're going to just move all this shit up here first, stuff up here first. Uh, right, so we're going to put all these guys in strategic movement mode, basically. Box of goodies here. They're all going to go different places, but we'll just put a, a one, one on there for now. And let's take these Oast Battalions and stick them somewhere useful. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, okay. These 
guys. All right. One, two, three, three and a half. Uh, whenever you want to move any vehicle unit, which is a unit with a black uh, movement rate, see, uh, see that guy right there? Or a <coughs> red number on a, on a yellow box, that's a tracked vehicle. They've got to consume supply. And if I want to keep moving this dude, uh, we would need to do that. But he's actually going to flip over and he's going to be the linchpin on the end of the... Uh, we're almost the end of the line here of the, the west wall. Um, so we're going to put him here. I'm going to <coughs> need to throw some supply. I need to build another hedgehog here. And do I, I have enough? I've got four supplies somewhere. Where did I put those supply markers? I had eight of them somewhere. Here we go, right here. So we're putting four supply here four down the other end of the map and what I hope I have is an HQ in here somewhere that can throw the supply to where it needs to be nope nope I had an HQ here somewhere did I move it that would be really stupid yep here it is back here okay well I don't know what happened so I'll spend a point to make that Move. It's really freaking annoying. Let's spend this point here actually. Bear with me, I'm behind the scenes here. I'm gonna zoom this dude up to here and he will, let's see. One, two, three, four, four, five. Six, seven, oops, seven to the, seven to here, to this hex here. Now, unfortunately, I can only, I can only throw five, one, two, three. Yeah, well, that's pointless. Seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. What we're trying to do is um, take supply and we throw it. It's called throwing. Yeah, throw it up here and we give it to the units to use to construct hedgehogs and things like that. Hey, Darky Spots, Dark Eye Spots, and Norman here. How we doing, gang? Glad to see everyone's here. Hi, John. All right, so we're, we're, we're kind of doing the German move, and really we're just positioning units to build, continue to, to kind of, in my little mind, to construct the balance of the West Wall with some hedgehogs, uh, knowing that eventually all this will uh, crumble and fall. But the, the uh, allies are having a rough time with supply and a rough time with pretty much everything. Uh, they're not doing well. Uh, tank boy, hey man, good to see you, but you have so many different uh, uh, user tags. Okay, all right, so, so we can't get any supply here. The only way I can do that is by taking uh, two SP and railing it over there and I think that's what I'm going to do because I while I, it's a expensive way to do it unfortunately because I I misread a rule early on I moved an HQ from where it was set up originally so that we could do just such these such things such as this um, we're gonna we're gonna rail to SPD here <clears throat> and I'm gonna make a level one hedgehog and we're gonna put it right here wasn't that exciting? Look, I mean, you just cannot. You can't get this anywhere. You can't get it for free anywhere, uh, except for here. All right, so we're now, we now have, I'm gonna put this on top so that uh, I don't 
probably can't really see that very well, but there you go. Trust me, that's a hedgehog. Uh, whoa, easy there, big guy. Uh, the camera's been very sensitive tonight. Or maybe I'm just being very sensitive. There's that as well. All right. So we strap move those guys. I need to actually straighten all these dudes up. Otherwise, we're going to get lost as to, as to who's moved and who hasn't from last turn. Speaking of which, there's some supply I potentially could have used earlier on if I, while I was instead of railing. I need to make a note that I used two, uh, two uh, rails, so I just put that on the board there. We're down to eight uh, rail. Now, I'm trying to get uh, the equivalent of a regiment <laughs> in, a, uh, in hexes so that we can make... Um, we can start building some hedgehogs. So I'm gonna pop this dude in here. That's two battalions, three battalions will equal a re. So we put that there and we'll deal with that next turn. We've got a fair bit of time just to put one, you know, just a handful of hedgehogs across here so that we've got a little bit of extra support and uh, defensive benefit now. So that's that. I'm just gonna cockeye those guys. We're not moving those. We're done with those. This dude's gonna stay where he is. Now these little Luftwaffe battalions, I was trying to spread these out to make any sort of airborne landing difficult. One, and two, three. So I'm gonna put one here. I'm gonna leave one in Grave. And I'm also going to hoof this chappy. Um, what's in Eindhoven besides the jets? Nothing. So well, one, two, three. I can't quite make it this turn, but he'll get there next turn. All right, so that's all the movement over there. Over here on the left-hand side of the map, I've got some guys in Stratmo and some other guys who think they want to go somewhere, who, which I forget where to. Um, these guys were going. These guys were going down here. That's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to there. All right, eight to there. Got these boys, these anti tank guns, and some excellent Luftwaffe unit there. He's got an action rating. No, you can't see. I'm sorry, I'm not doing a very good job of managing the camera tonight. Um, <clears throat> the black numeral there, the four is the uh, quality rating, basically, or the action rating, efficiency rating, I like to call it, uh, effectiveness rating uh, of the of the unit. The higher the number, the better, basically. And then you've got your combat new movement value, for those that don't know. And when they're flipped over uh, face down, we're in move mode. And when we're flipped over on the other side, you'll see that they have a stronger combat value and a lower movement rate, typically. Uh, you will have, uh, that's called their combat mode. And we'll talk about brackets and other things later. I know we've got a handful of people who've never seen this game before. So it's all brand new. That's why I'm explaining things I probably wouldn't normally explain. So uh, I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to spend um, a couple of tea out of this pile of stuff here. Well, it's not really a pile anymore, is it? There's only one SP there. So that's going to drop me down to two T. And I just realized I have forgotten to do one thing. I have not rolled for the random event. For the turn, we'll do that in just a moment because that's always fun and games. Now we're supposed to get fuel markers for these guys. They're not attacking anybody this turn. We're supposed to put a little fueled marker like uh, um, this little guy. And he's, because we're fueling them individually, we would do, we would do that. And then they're only fueled for this movement phase. So if they, wanted to go into combat in the next phase, they would have to pay more supply. It's a very expensive way to do it, but uh, they're independent units and it's, a, it's the 
it's convenient for now because I don't have a formation commander lying around that I can just grab and, and add, add him, add them all together. So, more poor planning on my part. So here we go, moving these guys. I was going to pop one down to here. Uh, so he's not going very far, but we need to get him there. And then the other chap, I want to push... Uh, where's that? Where was that other spot? Because he's a five. I think it down here. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Yeah, shit. Eight. Right here will do nine at the bridge. I'll put him in with those guys and we'll cock him sideways so we know he's moved. There's a little fuel marker for that. Hey, JTM, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Snoring, what's up? Happy Father's Day. Is it Father's Day today? It's not Father's Day. Is it really Father's Day? Shut up. My kids just got back from uh, working down in uh, Rockport, uh, helping some people clear trees out of their house and an inch of mud out of their house. So I didn't even see them today. So if it was Father's Day, it was a gift, that's for sure. Okay. So that guy's done. All right, we've got to do these chaps here. Oh, they're in that city. I think we were going to leave some of them there at least. I'm going to move some ash and trash down a little ways. Uh, one, two, three. No. One, two, three down to here. I'm a little skinny over that side. And these guys, I have no idea where they were headed. Something genius. I think, I think over in the middle. One, two... Three, four, five, six, mm, six, six, seven, eight. That'll do. Put that shy all the way over there. All right. Is it really? Well, what do you know? I didn't know it was Australia Day in, in Australia Day. I didn't know it was Father's Day in Australia today. I don't keep up with the Aussie holidays anymore except for Australia Day, which is January 26th. Okay, so that's all of this stuff that we're interested in moving. I don't think uh, these guys are done. This guy is done. We were moving supplies by the looks of it. My wagon, no less. And I think we we're looking to stage right here. So that's going to be uh, one, two, and three to drop it off. And that's going to be five. Uh, I can make that a five token, but we'll probably use some of that this turn, so we won't worry about it. Uh, that's what I say three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Uh, we do have a bunch of units to move down on the south end of the map. So we need to come back and basically do from here over and, acro and across on the other side of the, of the board. And we shall do that in just a minute. Let's go down to the south end of the map. Okay. All right. Let's see. We've got this big pile of goobers here that we need to bring onto the board. And I've got other other units that actually entered on the left, on the uh, southern edge of the map. Really inconvenient place to be. Uh, makes uh, fueling everybody and all that sort of fun stuff complicated, but uh, fortunately not too much armor has come in there. And uh, we've got a lot of 
little ash and trash units we've got to move to. So we're going to start over here on the back, on the back end of the battlefield and, and just kind of move stuff up. And this needs a strat, a strat mob marker. I've been moving them strat mob, but since they're in the backfield, I haven't paid too much attention to the strict legalities of the game. Put this where I can reach it. All right. Whoa, easy there, big guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we'll just dump into Strasbourg right there. And these guys will go one, two, three, four, five, six. Stratmo just doubles your movement rate. Uh, and then you get the benefit of the road on top of that. So, hang on a second. I didn't think I moved far enough. Did I move six then? I think I did, yes. Okay, he's good. These guys are actually have plenty of time, so they're just tooling up the road normally. One, two, three. Um, actually, I'll leave one back here. One, two, three at the crossroads. And this guy's taken three step losses. He's just all foobard. He's going to need some assistance at some point. So I've got a big old city here, Strasbourg. I'm going to dump at least something of note down in there. Do I have anything worthwhile? No, I don't. I have 17th Panzer Group SS. They're reasonable. But they're also situated mostly up here. Hey, it looks like we've got a, quite a few folks have joined if I'm seeing that if their numbers are true. East Front Games, what's up? How we doing? I uh, see we've got... Oh, you found the Discord channel? That's cool. Thank you, Springtime. I, I'm not on it right now. I, I, I got off. But uh, do uh, make yourself at home over there. Uh, anyone else who's just joined recently, please at least just say hi so we know who you are and, uh, I don't know, tell us you favorite pizza type or something. Okay, uh, so I do have to bring these all these units in in Germany and I've got to bring the supply in as well. Um, and I'm thinking this has been a great little staging area over here in the Rura or the Saar, I think this is, right? Yes, yeah, this is the Saar. Uh, so let's whack these bad boys down in so Lewis and I'm going to spend immediately spend um, two tokens just give those guys a little speed action a little fuel and we're going to just dump them down with the rest of I need my tweezers uh, rest of 17th Panzer, which I think is right there. There's one unit. So this guy's going to come on down. Uh, one, two, three. He can get down here. So he's just going to rock on right down in here. We're not going to worry about counting hexes. Uh, I'm going to put him in here. I'm going to move this dude out. Can you see that okay? You probably can't see that okay. You're just going to have to imagine the game. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to move this guy back a ways, although it would be nice to keep him there uh, to absorb losses. So we will keep all of them in Mets. So now we've got, that's, I think that's Mets, right? Yep. So we now have two regiments. Where is that? Oh. And some other little police unit of some sort. Uh, battalion, sorry. So a recon battalion, which has got a rating of five. Uh, a, a specialty rating, a eff effectiveness rating of five, and uh, another a full regiment of forces in in Mets. So come on, Patton, come on, come on down, uh, and we'll uh, we'll push that Artie down. I'm gonna put Artie in the same hex as this reserve unit, so that when they do flip over, that uh, they can all be in reserve together, and we'll we'll make that happen next turn. 17th, so that's really 
beefed that up quite a bit. I need to actually get some, some supply down into that hex just for longer term needs just in case. So I'm going to break the four up into two twos and I'm actually going to ship, I'm going to use two more rails. So let me, that means we use four. Make a note on the board here. So that's plus, that's actually not plus you dumbass, it's minus, minus two. Smoking and moaning and groaning, but my knee has killed me. So I'm gonna just rail this crap right into here and we're, we're building a little, a little, well, it is a fort, but we're building a fort for ourselves here so they can self-sustain in there and defend themselves and not be halved when they're isolated <coughs> or anything like that. And uh, this is a, just a key junction here. So as you can see, the, the Yanks have got nothing here. They've got uh, one, two, three regiments and, uh, and a broken down uh, half strength division. Um, there's just no supply. There's one SP there. There's a couple SP here somewhere. Uh, that can't do Dipkis. So it's really frustrating as the allies at the moment. All right, I'm gonna stop whining uh, in allied mode and keep moving. So that was those reinforcements. I now also have the 113th Panzer Grenadier. I think these guys were. They are gonna come onto the board as well. Um, I've got these units sitting over here because they're they're in this they're in this hex here. Uh, actually, that should be right there. So I'm just kind of staging them off to one side here. And I'm probably going to do the same thing with the 113th, but I need to find a spot to put them. <coughs> and here's, here's where it's interesting. If, if tactically, I think there's an opportunity for the, uh, for the uh, Germans to do something nasty to the Allies if they can find the right set of units to fight or find an open road, uh, open back road back here. So we got a little bit of 21st Panzer. I got a, a stack uh, a little bit further down over there uh, of stragglers and I keep getting more units coming in from down there at the moment anyway. Not a lot down in this area. Down here there's two, uh, two regiments, uh, an HQ and a half of another division. Still kind of tough to take on, but if I, I've got this division, I've got, uh, yeah, that's crap. Uh, these guys, now these guys, even though they're manning Mets, we could potentially pull them out of there. And then I've got the 112th that just came on and glory days. Oh, I gotta flip that over from last turn. We forgot to do that. I've got 9th Panzer over there, which is almost a full division. Uh, Panzerlier is here. I mean, we've got some stuff. There's a lot of bad guys, but I'm looking for a lunge to some location around the Meuse somewhere where I could uh, cause some logistical issues for the, for, for the Allies. Anyway, so with that in mind, I, I think I'm going to just, you know, I actually might just leave. 112th right here not move them let's leave them right here and just be patient and let's wait for the opportunity to put to use them somewhere so we're going to leave them in Tsar Lewis is what that town is called it's a nice little you know what I'm going to put it back one hex oh no I can't because then I have to move it so I can put it in this city we'll put it right there all right I'm gonna grab a little block to remind me that there's supply underneath there. Now, in an effort to continue to build up our defenses, what we wanna do now, uh, it's not your gay dude. Uh, is that this here? Is that scotch tape? Yes, it is. That's, that's plex and scotch tape and it just stops this stuff from moving. I don't, I don't want to hear any, uh, any issues. It makes it all sit nicely. What do you use? 
and these I've got uh, I've got little um, uh, pr presentation foils over the rest of the map because I I, I didn't want to <laughs> I don't it doesn't fit properly with the plex I have uh, no matter how I angle it it's either sticking over the edge of the board over the edge of the table or it's uh, it's the wrong wrong shape so don't don't be judgy um, don't judge me man I need to flip this dude over from move to uh, this is so wide I can't even get the there we go you just have to trust me what I'm doing here all right I'm going to move this half strength unit forward one two it's a Volx Grenadier division I'm going to put it right there Actually, four, five, six, seven, two, three, four, five, six. Mm, I might move it right here. It's still not overstacked. And I have a regiment here, I think. Do I? Yes. I'm going to make another hedgehog in that hex and not move that division this turn oh I knew this is happening I'm going to run out of hedgehogs because I'm using them from another game I haven't punched it I usually don't punch the info counters out of most of my games for OCS so okay so 9th Panzer is going to basically stay here and those guys underneath have a hedgehog I said for a stack. Stack of crap. Now, the smart move would have been to actually put a hedgehog down here. I wonder if I could reach that. I don't think so. Well, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight. No, I'm just short. If I move back a little bit, we can do that. If I move back one hex, hmm, then I can fly by though. All right, let's uh, push these dudes up. This is where we've got to be really careful with our stack. The stack's knocking stuff over. Let's flip that guy over. I'm just going to move this guy uh, one, two here. I'm going to flip this dude over. Ooh. I don't like having that. This is a two step. Mechanized unit. Kind of scary. If I pull this guy back here, he could go one back to here. I'm going to fuel that dude and move him one hex. Can I pull a T from here? I can. I can pull a T from here. That's easier. Okay, so this guy is fueled and he is going to go back here. I want to keep, got to use him for reserve at some point, um, but not now. And just to remind myself about that, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put a little reserve marker right here for later on. Okay, whew. Oh, come on, give me some credit. Thought I had the Plex taped to the map? What am I, do I look like a, a rookie? Um, yeah, I use removable tape, that blue tape as well, but I, I, when, I'm just, when I'm trying to wedge these pieces of Plex together, I, I like to use just a see-through tape because it's, it's easier. Uh, on the other side of the, um, you can't see this other side here, but uh, I, I, I use tape to hold the map and the plex in place on the on the table 
I've already bumped it over on the other side. It's got little uh, bulges and shit everywhere. Because I'm clumsy. All right. Uh, I was moving units and not cocking them. That's always a good, a bad thing. That we just flipped that guy. None of this moved. This moved. I'm going to leave this here. Because look, unless, unless I get surrounded, um, there's no reason to move. Uh, you know, this second arm, French second armoured. No, you can't see it. This stuff over here. That's kind of blurry. Is that blurry to you? Maybe I got crap on my lens. Um, here, no point moving. Not until we get a breach further down, which it has potential of happening. I've got one uh, isolated unit down here. He's going to be at a supply this turn. We're gonna to have to get him out of there. I don't know how we're gonna do that. Uh, we're about to flip over to the other side of the board and take a look. Um, so bear with me. I've still got two SP left. I'm just gonna pop those bad boys on top of there. And now I'm gonna uh, just trot around to the other side. Well, not trot, more like uh, do the gimp limp. screwed up. I got the 112th and 113th mixed up. Well, I'm just going to leave them both back here now. Uh, I guess I'll put this dude here. I don't know what I did. I don't know where, I don't know where the 112th was. I guess I can go back and look in the video, but maybe I didn't bring, maybe I didn't bring it on the last turn. So that's one, two, three, four, Five, five relatively strong forces that I could bring to bear against an appropriate target. But let's let's keep moving on here. Uh, third Panzer Group is kind of spread out along here. Uh, he, here's the primary uh, HQ, kind of HQ location for them. Uh, I'm just I'm hanging tough here as well. I'd like to build some more hedgehogs along there, but I don't know that I have. The, uh, I don't have the SP. Uh, no, that's only one. I don't have the SP to really deal with it. I might want to put these chaps. See, these guys are in reserve. That's artillery in reserve there. I need to remember that, actually. Um, I'm assuming you can see that right there. You may wonder why I've got why some air units have these white crosses on them. Uh, and I actually need to check that they don't now come off. But there's a die roll that occurs that allows them to be placed on the map. So that's a, a note I need to make. But we're going to deal with that a little bit later on. Um, I'm not too fussed if they're not on the map at the moment because we're not really, there's not really a lot of engagement going on with the air war because most of the stuff is uh, situated in the Normandy air boxes. So the fighter sweeps, there have been very few uh, fighter sweeps going on to try and beat up on the uh, German air at the moment, mainly because some of it is actually quite tough, but it's also very far away uh, and difficult for me to access uh, with, my, with my units. Okay. This guy was not fueled, so we need to, uh, we, get, we gotta fuel him if we wanna move him. Um, I've got one SP to move those guys if I want to. Uh, you know, this, the more I look at it, this little area here, let's see if we can get this in, in context here, right? Um, 
Let's see what's in 21st Panzer first before we go getting too excited. Yeah, it's not strong. It's only got eight factors, eight combat factors. I do have a little SS unit here that's got five and a four rating. We, I, there's a, you know, it, it's a bit of a giveaway and I don't know what Patton could do in terms of reaction, but these guys in Hedgehog here and these units here could potentially combine to attack this uh, uh, little unit here, this uh, armored cab, I guess it is, uh, or uh, p bypass and uh, try and take on that unit there and threaten supply lines. But the grand scheme of things, if I blocked this road, all these guys could uh, get, tr get to trace supply from HQ over here. Uh, so it's not going to make a big difference. Uh, I'm just I'm just not sure where the value is in, in pushing that hard with these fellas. Uh, so let's keep uh, let's keep going here. I need um, to keep moving. This is taking a long time, a lot longer than I normally do when I'm not streaming. So all right, I'm going to spend it, spend one SP to. Uh, fuel these uh, these guys and the uh, 21st Panzer up here so let's do that I'm gonna fuel the HQ as well which is right here I'll come to your questions in just a minute or comments in a minute and I'm gonna fuel this entire division well yeah, and that's how we'll do that. Does this, uh, yeah, all right. Because I need to get, I want to get one more HQ up in this area. So I'm going to move this HQ now. One, two. You know, this crossroads is actually a nice little location. It allows me to kind of potentially launch two. I'm going to move to here three. Uh, into this hex three. <laughs> this is going to mark it, remind us that we've got an HQ there underneath. I think I might try and do something with... Uh, with this stack. Let's see if I can get anywhere. It's going to be a six factors and 11 factors to four, so it's going to be just shy. <laughs> It's not a good attack. It's really not worth doing. But we can at least look like we're going to do it. And maybe that's half the battle. One, two, three. Three and a half, five and a half, seven and a half to there. I'll put these guys up to here. And I'm going to move this dude to here. No. One, two, this dude to there. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now we've got, now we've, now you're feeling it. All right, now what I do need to do is put something in the hex with this chap so that we don't uh, leave him exposed. Uh, and he said, thinking, shit, do I have anything? One, two, three, four, nope. All right, so this is where thinking things through a little more than just extemporaneous uh, activity would help. So here we go. Here's a dude. Now, here's what I could do with that with that HQ earlier on. This HQ here. I have uh, a a unit just behind us here. It's a Luftwaffe uh, assault gun unit. I'm going to be able to move him. I'm going to use that HQ to active to fuel this independent unit and move him up to here. And it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, five and a half. So that's perfect. Then he's a six, six movement rate. So he goes up into there. That's called a little uh, backwards revision bullshit that you can do when you play solo. And we would actually technically put a little fueled marker on that little peck ahead guy. Just put it there. It comes off at the end of the phase. Actually, no, it's, he's going to stay fueled for the entire, the entire turn. All right, so there's that. Um, 
I'm going to, well, there's a lot of stuff here. This is just gonna take a while, guys. I don't know how interesting this is. <laughs> I, I, I could lose interest. Uh, wow, there's so much junk and so little time. That SP is spent. All right, let's reinforce this here because we just, we can't afford to lose this slot. So let's push this three up. Yep, so that makes that a six, that makes that a, excuse me, an eight now with a hedgehog and oh, I'm just going to go one, two, three, four to here. These guys. Wow. How did we get 11 comments all of a sudden? These I must have I done something wrong? <laughs> Whenever I see a whole bunch of comments, I think I've screwed something up. Let me just see. Uh, John Connor, it's my favorite rule. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> okay, so I didn't see the comment above. That's so funny. Who is this guy? Who is this guy? Where is he? Uh, this guy's hilarious. Um, S. McCullough, I don't know what your, uh, <laughs> I don't know what your first name is, but that's funny. All I saw was, your content's amazing, you have a great personality, but you're tiny, <laughs> like, have you seen me naked? <laughs> <coughs> but then it's the comment above, I'm honestly sad your channel is so small. No, really, thank you. <laughs> As they say, fuck you very much. Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna keep going. I shouldn't have read the comments. Uh, <laughs> that's awesome, dude. Uh, God. <coughs> I have no idea what I was doing. I think this guy moved, and now I'm gonna move these guys here. Uh, we're, just, we're just gonna grind them up. Let's go. One, two, Three, four. Oh, uh, four. Should I go Stratmo or not? Four. No, I should. Four. So just be patient. <coughs> and uh, I was pushing these guys down this way because I just want to say, bite me, Mister Mister American guy. One. Oh yeah, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put this dude in here. He's a 14 rated unit, and I'm just gonna move this guy out one. And just to say, yeah, come on, come and attack me. And then these dudes will be here. And that will put a little threat on their flank if they do come close. And this... Oh, this guy here. I don't know if you can see that or not. And I don't really care at this point. I've gotta concentrate. One. Hmm. Yeah. One, two to here. So let's do that. Because I don't know what's coming from this area down here. <coughs> Yet, as the Germans, I have no idea. And I've got three more divisions, two more divisions here. Look at these guys. These guys are awesome. There's four divisions, three divisions here. For fuck's sake, what's happening? All right. I'm going to flip this Luftwaffe HQ over. He's got a reach of eight. I don't know if you can see that. I'm just going to move the camera back and assume you can. Uh, there's some Marines here. There's some supply here. I'm going to leave a little Marine Brigade there because, you know, who knows what he's good for. That'll protect those two HQs. I don't know why I have two HQs in the one hex. I'll put this stuff off to the side. And all these guys, these guys all have to go to Stratmo. So let's grab a Stratmo counter. Whack that bad boy on top of there. And let's move these somewhere sensible and see what we can do with all of that. One, two, three, four, five to here, five to here, five. I cannot get too close to uh, any of this stuff here because they'll, they'll, they'll pounce five. So we're going to go around six, seven, eight up to here. 
<coughs> I'm going to move this. I, 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 earlier on, I moved this guy back one hex. I'm going to move him forward one hex. So, genius. Um, see, now this is where we have the problem with some of the supply issues. Uh, I have I have supply all over the place. Oh, of course. Uh, no, we're, we're we're doing awesome here. Um, uh, the, yeah, the problem for the Germans here is we don't have the supply in the right place, right? Uh, I've got 3T here, it's not enough to fuel these dudes, but I brought in 2SP over here, right? All the way over there. So what we can do is we can rail that SP, I can rail that shit right up into here somewhere uh, and then just use it. We could do that. And I don't think that sounds like cheating too much, do you? Since we're really just trying to work this out as we go. So I'm gonna break this down to two. And I'm just gonna leave this off to one side in case I need rail somewhere else. Um, and I'll put it somewhere like here. This is a good rail spot right here. And that'll fuel 11th Panzer. Um, that's a formation fueling. So that's just those guys. I need, um, let's see. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah. Oh, so that's gonna be, if you fuel a full formation, so this is a division, this guy, and then these chaps here. That's a full division, and so they'll use one SP. Alternatively, I could just do it discreetly. One, two, three, four, five would be five T or five tokens. Uh, obviously, four is less than five, so I would use four because it's more efficient. And then I could also fuel any independent sort of units that were in the area, but you're supposed to do that with an HQ. Um, the formation uh, fueling is a little bit different and I could grab the rule and tell you but I'm not going to because I don't give a shit because I just need to keep moving um, this is how we're doing it for this particular turn so I'm going to consolidate all this stuff up on uh, the flank of uh, fourth, uh, the American 4th Army right in this little village here and we know that I all can make it because I've got a bunch of moving points and I'm going to put that bad boy on top. That's 11th Panzer right there. All right. So that sort of that sort of posits a, a dual threat uh, to to Patton's uh, armor. In the meantime, I've got a uh, infantry division here. We need to kind of toddle along. And here we get to there. As you can probably tell, it's a little hard to uh, keep the OCD discipline going while I'm doing extemporaneous commentary and try to pretend like I know what the rules are. So bear with me as we kind of fudge things around here. All right, I, I'm, I'm pretty, uh, well, there's only one SP there. I'm pretty comfortable with where all this stuff is here. These guys, mm, not so great. A unit and not anywhere useful. The other thing you gotta think of is uh, where you've, you've forgotten, where you've left holes. Um, so like maybe leaving this town open is not a good idea. So we could flip this dude over and go one, two, three, is that right? One, two, three, yeah. So we'll put him over here. I wonder if that's in focus or not. It doesn't look like it's in focus. So we've got 18 people online now. Hey, Greg, good to see you, man. What's going on? Atinara, what's going on, man? If I had another ice cube, I would make another cocktail, but I don't. 
So we're just going to have to tough it out without, without the alcohol. Um, okay, so I think that covers that whole section here. I, I've got one division down the bottom here that I need to move underneath the camera. I'm going to strap on that guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just going to stick him here. And there's a strap on camera. He's going to be underneath those two HQs. All right. Well, let's have a look at the uh, den and see what's going on. I was told that I pronounced the voyage incorrectly last time. I said the voisages or something like that. Some, some guy got all upset. He got very confused. Um, like, okay, dude, go take French somewhere else, please. I'm just doing what I can do. All right. I'm trying to situate the camera so you can see and okay now this is a really uh, shitty situation we got ourselves in here on the left hand side of the screen last turn I was debating whether or not to move this guy back and I was like oh no I won't worry about it he's going to be fine and now he's isolated and I'm a dumbass so um, I mean what, what even was he protecting a stupid little trail so all these guys are armored and they can't really move without fuel and they can't get fuel unless we've got a clear route to them and they now don't have a clear route. So now I've got to go make up some bullshit me mechanism or, you know, set of movement to, to free them somehow. So we're going to try and uh, start here. What we need to do, the way fueling would work, is I need to have a, 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 a zone of control free access to this unit. But I can use other units to negate a zone of control. So we're going to count eight because this guy has a eight range to throw. One, two, three, four, five, five and a half or five and a half to here. Heavy forest, though, is what's going to be the killer, right? Because I bet you it's five plus five. Heavy wood's five. So that's no good. One, one two, three, four, five, six, six and a half, seven, seven to there. Well, no, that's not right. One, two, three, four, five. Six, six and a half, seven and a half. Yep, yeah, see, we're screwed. One, two, two and a half, two, one, two, shit, three, three and a half, eight and a half. Oops. <clears throat> hmm. Yep, yep, yep. It's just not good. Okay, can I move supply? I can. I can. <laughs> ah, here we go. Here's the hack. All right, here we go. I got it. Where is this guy? Don't call me genius for nothing. TGWE, the greatest war gamer ever. Is that right? We're gonna knock this guy. Down to a two. I'm gonna spend one two. I'm not actually gonna spend it. I'm gonna use one rail capacity, which is way more, four times more than this. And I'm gonna move it by rail to here. <laughs> and you go, Kevin, why would you do that? Uh, I'm gonna do it because I'm gonna do this. One, oh, I actually, hang on. What's that movement rate going to be? Heavy woods is the two. Okay, it's going to flip over. So one, two, three to here. Now, or actually, we can actually do it here. So now uh, I've got to go back, uh, tracked. All I need to do is get be able to count back five movement points to here. It's three to here, and adjacent is good enough. 
boom now he's fueled okay so now he's fueled i'm going to flip him over to fuel him though uh, so that when he's fueled so that he has um more mps and we're going to drive through the heavy woods of the arden because you know they did it all the time uh and that's three movement points to here and then it's uh, another three there is six and then six and a half and then you can kiss my honey and we're done. All right, that was expensive, but I believe that was accurate. And if anyone wants to say that's wrong and you watch this far, you don't have a life. Uh, no one, I don't think you can, I, I don't know that you can split. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, detrainable hex. Good, 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 good catch. Yes, excellent point. So let's have a look at that and let's see what that does to us here. Let's see what, it, let's put everything back where it was. Fuck you, tank boy. Um, let's put everything back here. Um, that would be three. Oh, but look, I could I could rail it to here. I could rail it to here, right? Can you see this? If I rail it to here, this is the trainable hex. Now, th this guy can throw this eight. Uh, no, that doesn't work. Um, there's got to be a way to get out of here. There's always a way. Where is there another? There's got to be another little... here hmm you might have a problem here one two three and then I could go one two three four five yeah here we go <sighs> rail is to here can I rail it into a, into a negated zone of control? I think I can. <laughs> this is the this is the problem with this game and this system is that if if you're not a clean and precise game player, you get yourself into these gnarly little problems, and you can spend look we spent five or ten minutes on this right now, and at the end of the day, for what for uh, a battalion of some bullshit unit and uh, do I really care whether it dies I kind of do <laughs> so ouch okay so let's uh, let's say that we can let's see if a uh, tank boy has jumped in and said I can't uh... yeah it can be adjacent but it can't um... but it's got to be a detrainable hex I can't just dump the, the supply off on the uh... yeah as the train goes by that's right uh okay anyway here we go <clears throat> i'm I, I can i can i can rail this stuff right to here into this town can i i can move this guy here one two three uh i've got another zone control here But it's okay. Uh, no, it's not okay. One, four, no. Mm, I think this guy is hosed. I think he is hosed. Unless I detrain it here. And then move this guy one. Can I flip him over? I can. One, one and a half, two and a half. <laughs> he can't make it. Oh my God. God, see, look what I've done. All because I'm a. Can move that guy there. Threaten the whole line just for this. Okay, that guy can just die. I don't give a shit. Hell with him. I'll take my tea back. 
Don't see how I can get him out of this pocket yet. But I will I will stop any further advance. They, they, can, they can go into the hole here if they want to. Let's might as well get this dickhead out of here while we can. One, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half, seven and a half. Fucking he still can't make it either. God bless it. All right. I'm really going to be in a spot of bother here. For this guy, I can rail. I'll rail a T for this guy. Two here. Spend that. And I'm going to move this guy. One. To here. And maybe I'll just attack that unit and, and just jack him up and let's see what happens. Yeah, HQ Town, City, uh, Engineers, uh, Trainable, that is correct. But, uh, at this, dude, th th there are no trucks. I have three trucks on the whole map. and uh, No, maybe two trucks on the whole map and three wagons. This is freaking insane. Um, Oh, Angry Bunny, now there's an idea. Throw them dice. Okay, uh, I want to know why my camera is not focusing properly. It looks very annoying. Okay, um, so that was painful. And you know what? Just because it's painful, I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually going to attack this motherfucker. Pardon the French. But before I do that, I'm going to get... Uh, some some hooch. So let, let's so let me see here. All right, I've got two T. I can do the attack if I need to. Well, I can only get it to this guy. Um, do I want to boost that up a little bit? One, two. I don't know if I do. Do I want to move anything else in this area? This is a mess. This whole Arden thing is just a freaking disaster here. I don't know what the hell we're going to do here. Look at this over here. Yep. Uh, well, you know what? Good planning wouldn't get you into that. Would You would avoid that situation. There are some folks that I've been talking to who've played games with people that literally look at the map and kind of mathematically model it in their head and know where shit can be. And they said they played games and it was you know, over in five turns or something crazy like that. Uh, it's kind of the masterclass uh, OCS players. I don't know that I want to invest that much time and effort into it. I like, I like, I like, <laughs> I like being a dumbass like myself and just having fun. Okay. I need to get a drink, but I think uh, I need to uh, get some water first. I'm starting to get dry and hoarse. Um, and I need to have a look at this section first before we go and do anything else and decide if we're going to do an attack. Uh, golly, this is not good here either. And when I'm looking at that, and when I look at the map, guys, I'm not just looking to try and you know pop off an attack and kill a regiment. Most of the time I want to. I want to do something a little more substantial. I want to, I'm looking for a breakthrough opportunity. I'm looking for a means to isolate. So that may mean that I might try and attack a regiment or a division or whatever the case may be and, and go through that exercise and then uh, exploit and penetrate. Uh, but there's not a lot presenting itself. And I... I have, I think I have some supply up here somewhere that I can throw. I need an HQ over here, a little closer. That's got two SP. Um, so I brought four SP in up there, and I think I'm going to pull two of that down here, a little closer. I'm going to jag this down to this HQ. Oh, that's kind of exposed. Let's put it in here in leash. Let's grab a cube and make note that there's supply there. All right. Okay. I can't imagine I'm playing this game opposed and trying to walk my way through this exercise. Okay. Uh, I see. I don't think... I'm a little concerned that, you know, they just popped this unit across the river here. There's a pontoon bridge here. So... Uh, 
we couldn't crack this hex necessarily, but the the allies have kind of got a little bridge he, bridgehead. The the weak point is here, and have no means to really. Here we go. Uh, fuck. All right, I'm gonna have to pay one, two, three. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pay. Uh, I'm tired of making change here with these guys. All right, let's uh, grab a three. <clears throat> and a one. I don't think I'm going to move anything else over this area, so let's do that. Take that off. And let's just pop this guy down here. Bolster that a little bit. tempted to pull back from this road but if I do it's all over Red Rover um, there's a railroad here I can't do much about either this guy this is weak here crap what how did I not see that I need uh, I need some help I'm gonna rail a dude so that's I've used uh, five left five rail five real can I use? Let's take, uh, let's take uh, this guy and rail him. I think there's something about railing into zones of control that you're not allowed to do that. That's one of the other reasons why I wasn't so excited about doing, doing that. Let me look at rail real quick. Unless one of you guys know it off the top of your head. Uh, Great rules of X in this game too, by the way. Burr for rail. Railroads. Be trainable. Enemy stacks. 4, 8, C. 13, 3. Where else would it be? 4, 8, C. Alright. 13, 3. Let's check that first. 13, 3. Boom. There's a rail path. These docks cannot be negated to move cargo, but can to connect with the supply source. Okay. To trainable. Negated to move cargo. Well, I guess troops of cargo. So it can't be unloaded. So that shoots that idea down. That means we would have to just go to here. I can, can I move through it? That'd be interesting. Hmm. Ain't that fun. Ain't that fun. Ain't that fun. All right, well, that's not gonna work. Railing a unit to there is not gonna work. Who knew this could be so riveting? Uh, Okay. How far can this guy move? One, one, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is it rail? One. Oh. Rail is one. Uh, right, it's going to be other terrain, right? Yep. No, it's just one. Okay. What did I say? 11? 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 and a half, 7 and a half, 8 and a half, 9 and a half, 10 and a half. Fuck. Okay. Not the guy. That's not the guy. I need a dude with a 14 or a 12. All those dudes moved. Oh, good for God's sake. Oh, I guess I could use first pans if I have to. Let's do this. Here we go. Okay. One, two, I got it. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So all these guys. So I'm going to fuel this dude. I'm going to fuel this dude. 
And actually, I might not even flip him over. And I'm going to spend two more freaking T, and that makes that one T there. This is kind of dinking around. I usually don't have to do this, but uh, I'm just not familiar enough with this set of maps and the situation to, to avoid it. So sorry about that. So here we go. Uh, I'm just going to move uh, one to here, uh, four to here, five, six, seven. So there, take that. Uh, and I'm going to just jag this dude. Uh, he's just going to swish around here. One, two, three, four, a bunch to here. Uh, net the same. Although we are now starting to mix our panzer divisions up. But I'm not too fussed about that right now. I've got 12th panzer, 1st panzer, and 2nd panzer spread all over the place. Uh, God. Painful. Okay. I think we did it. Yeah, thanks, Norman. Uh, I'm just scrolling back through all your comments. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, get back to the booze. Wow. Okay, I'm hearing you. Yeah, I'm going to grab some hooch and then um, I'll be I'll be right back. So I think I think we're done with the move. You know what? We're going to attack this guy here because he's pissing me off. This little dude right down here. I'm going to find some air. I'm going to we're going to I'm going to do something mean to him. Uh, so let me see if I can actually scrape together. Ooh, look what I find. Oh, daddy says yes. 64 range, so you're in. I'm gonna provide an escort from somewhere. I'll grab that guy. Not that I really need it, but I will. And boom, I'm coming in. Okay. We're gonna do that in a second. We'll do barrage in a second, and then we'll we'll get through the rest of the turn sequence. Uh, where's my? I really need an ice cube. I've got to go upstairs. It's gonna kill my knee. All right, fuck it. I'll just get water. Go. Sorry for the hiatus. When I said I was getting water, I was getting water from my glass to put uh, put the bourbon in because it's a hundred proof. It's uh, really strong, but it's a good it's good bourbon, good rye, and small batch. Um, it's called Colonel Taylor yeah, for those that care. And it's uh, strong, a little hot. Okay. <laughs> okay, you guys are funny. All right, let's do this. So, uh, and I still haven't, you know, I haven't even looked at this little section of the map over here. We, we can't do this yet. We got we got to, we'll come back to that. We, we've, we've got a few things to do here because we've got to move stuff across the Braskens Ferry, uh, which is very exciting uh, as we try and, you know, escape from the clutches of the Polish and the Canadians. So I'd almost forgotten about these guys over here, the hapless uh, Commonwealth forces. So, um... I forget how many, it's two rear turn, I think, to get, yeah, I can ship, fuck, where, where is the rules, that's what's very, I keep, it's, it's an odd amount, it's not a, it's two units, I think, I don't think they give it in, uh, hmm, I don't know, no more than three re can be transferred per turn, where do they get two units from? Preston's going to go to this again and... Uh, all right. 
come on. Come back and move mode, we can move half, blah, blah, blah. And uh, model three read can be transferred, and yeah, right, that's awesome. Thank you so much. So, three read. Well, that's you guys. You're you're out. You guys are out. So then, boom, done. Next. So that's good. These, jeez. All right. Um. So I guess he's going to be next up. I'm going to be careful now because they're starting to close in. So this guy's going to move one, two to here. Uh, this guy can stay here because he can move half his movement to get into this hex. Uh, the polder will block pretty much everybody else. I'm going to flip this dude over. Otherwise, he's going to get beat on. We might get most of these guys out of here. This is just breakdowns, and this is a good stack here. Um, but I cannot use the Breskins ferry from there. Duh, because it's not Breskins. Okay, this alert, awesome piece of awesomeness, 543 unit, it's got to go. One, two, I'm going to park here, uh, mm, 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 here, because I think we're going to do this. There we go. Even things up a bit. We'll flip you over. Well, actually, why don't we leave you there and cause people pain? I need some some sort of drugs for my knee. Okay, I'm gonna move these two dudes to here. We're gonna start building hedgehogs here. Uh, next turn. Uh, got we got raided. We got air raided last turn. That's gonna come off at the end of this turn. And they, they, they jacked up these dudes here. But I'm thinking I'm gonna put a really strong division in this hex if I can get to it. Like this 343 three would be a good start. A four rated unit, oh, I've already got one, okay. I want this guy, I want this dude. He's now got half movement, but I can flip him to this. He'll get, he can't get there. Hmm. Fine. All right. Hmm. This would be good. Oh, he's got three step losses. Nope, he wouldn't be good. Maybe I should use. Uh, here we go. Here's a guy. Oh, I moved him already. That's right. That's why he's hooked. Why he's angled. Okay, I don't think I can do any more to reinforce this this turn. Um, shit, and this is not good either. One, two, three. Uh, I'm gonna have to pull this guy down. One, two, three, four here. You're half cross, uh, attacking across the Elba Canal because it's a major canal, uh, but uh, even halved and into a city, if, if they DG that, it, it'd be, you know, three, four, five to one or something like that. It's not good. So we don't want to take that risk. I got to cover, I covered that hex there. Uh, I really feel like I ought to be cinching 10th Panzer a little bit further down. But once again, I want to, I want to keep stuff uh, available to, to, you know, do mean things to Germans. One, two, three, uh, here, we'll just go here. And I'm going to push you out here. One, two, three. Uh, Ninth Panzer up here. I don't know if there's any reason to jack with any of that stuff up there. We're just, we're just not. I don't think I've moved this guy. Where do I need him? I keep pushing stuff towards Antwerp. I feel like that's important. Um, but there's still open terrain here. So one, two, three, four to there. No big deal. Uh, one, two, three, four. No big deal. All right. These guys. Flip them over. 
That's right, they didn't quite make it last turn. They, they're guys that didn't get cocked. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. All this stuff can wait, all that can wait, all this can wait. I don't think there's anything there. All right, here we go. <coughs> Movement, supply. Everybody's in supply except for this jackass uh, here in the Ardennes. Where is he? I'm afraid to tip the face of the camera over too much more because it'll tip over. Don't I get to do barrages? Don't I get to do my air barrage? I get to do my air barrage first. All right, let's just roll three dice and we'll see what happens. Get my charts. And please don't laugh at my little die roller thingy. My little pencil holder with a little dirty, with an old, sad, faded little rag in it. Okay, triple A. Okay, we got a nine. It's gonna get, uh, ish. That might be close. Let's just double check to make sure. Plus one for what? Plus one for something. So I have a fire support, right? I'm looking at the wrong table. Uh, Three or more aircraft. Nope. Here it is. Plus one for the mission, for the fighters and the mission, that's it. So that's a 10, so we're good. I, so now we roll for the attack, and it's a strength of eight, and we have to make mods. Uh, roll the eight for the uh, result. Strength of eight, this is not good. It's gonna be, well, we might get lucky here. So. Heavy forest is counted as what? Uh, really, they could have put all this on this one table, couldn't they? Very close counts as one column shift. So that's gonna drop down to five to seven. And I rolled an eight, is that what I said? So that's still a DG. Is there any other, there is a spotter being out of supply to count. And the other guy is there anyway. No Stratmo, no, no oh, density, zero density. Oh, what am I doing? I'm, atta I'm attacking, yeah. It's a, ah, oh, fuck, it's a battalion. No! Shit, we missed. And then the crowd went, no! Okay, so that goes back. There's no intercept. I don't have air over here anywhere that, that we can use. These guys go back to the used bucket. I'm gonna put them both back. Uh, there's so many airfields here, it's ridiculous. I'm gonna put these guys here. Underneath, so that, uh, let's see what we're doing. I don't know if you even saw any of that. Did you, did I bump the camera and you didn't see anything? That's, that's pretty sucky. Uh, well, Tony, if you're gonna make me a dice tray, uh, I, I, I'm just, I've always thought it was by the, uh, by the SP. I'm not gonna look it up right now. Someone else can grab the rules, uh, cause I'm gonna kill something. First, and Tony, if you make me a rack, uh, make me a dice tower, please make can, small, like cute little thing, not too big. Cause I like, I like uh, lean, um, What's the right word? Spartan type things. Okay, uh, so we're gonna deal with this this little situation here. Uh, let's see. Supply, I think we got that. I got a roll for attrition for this little guy. He's gonna be fine though, unless I roll really shitty. So, eight's gonna be okay. Because he has a rating of five, and I've gotta roll horribly for that. Uh, yeah. No loss, okay. Now, no one else has supply issues that I'm aware of. I'm just 
just checking this section of the map. That section of the map's fine. I think we're good. I really think we're 99% sure that everybody is in good in the hood. So that means uh, we did that barrage thing, supply thing, reaction. There is no reaction because no one's got anyone in reserve, really. Combat face, no barrage. We're going to go for it. They've got three defense. I'm, uh, I'm rolling, so let me just make sure <laughs> that I can get the supply to get this attack off. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half, seven and a half. Good enough. Se six and a half, seven and a half. Yeah, so he's, he's close. This guy can't get supply, but he's going to go low ammo because he doesn't care. Even though he's half, he's probably going to die anyway, so he's in. I'll take that one in. I'll take that one extra... Uh, uh, combat factor. I'm all in. Ooh. Angry Bunny has a point. What type of dice? I don't usually use these little guys. I, I, uh, well, most of my dice are rounded edged, smaller things. Anyway, doesn't matter. Okay, here we go. So, uh, we don't really need to worry about the odds. It's going to be uh, seven to three. It's two to one. Um, we've got a plus two on the uh, ratings here, so you can see this is a six four six. Can you see that? For some reason, it just maybe maybe my eyes are just completely shagged. But this this looks blurry to me. Why is it so grasshopper? What are you doing? Hmm. Maybe it's the quality of the image. I don't know. Something's going on. Sorry if that looks bad. Uh, okay, so it's, what did I say? Seven to three, and then see the four number here? See this? Four and two. I'm gonna take the delta, it's two. I'm gonna add that to uh, a die roll, and it's always gonna be, we always, this is the, uh, the special die, and these two are gonna be the number, and I'll show you what that is in a second, all right? So here we go. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so that's not going to be very good. So seven, and it doesn't matter anyway because they're all one. Uh, it's not no no big big cheese. This is going to be an ugly attack. Um, we're working out surprise. I roll a seven, and you need ten or more uh, to gain surprise. Seven plus two is nine. There is no surprise. So that can all just go away. So now we're just doing a. And if we had have got surprise, I would have shifted the column, the columns in my favor for the attacker. One, if the defender got surprise, then they would get the shifts. All right, here we go. And now we're adding two to the die roll on the, <laughs> on the two and a half to one, the two to one table in close to rain, no less. Or is that very close? It's very close to rain. This is gonna be brutal. I need a super high roll. Or a five. Um, five plus two is seven, which is, you know, average. I am Captain Average. Two to one. Oh, seven, you fucker. Okay, I'm in. AL101. Oh, daddy wants a brand new pair of shoes. All right. I guess <clears throat> they're both the same, right? So here's where I should have declared. I didn't declare. I was supposed to declare this number, and I did declare this one, so this guy dies. Uh, and then I have uh, an option to lose one. I'm gonna take my option. Um, or retreat one, actually. So uh, I've gotta lose a step because I retreat into a zone of control. Which is where, if I had to move this guy here, that would have been good. But I didn't, so he dies, I believe. And uh, these guys now have to take their option and that would trick one. So there, yeah, that was expensive. That's what you get for being a douche. And I had to spend two T to make that happen. So even worse, so there's two T. We'll take that off the board as well. So this is going great. Never attack at two to one. Never attack at four to one. Um, Right, so that was combat. Now we're supposed to do a bunch of 
other stuff. There's the exploit phase. There is no exporting. There is the cleanup phase. Uh, that's just going to involve me taking fueled markers and stuff off the board. We'll worry about that later. And uh, then it's going to be the allied phase. And I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's roll for the allied supply. I'm going to have to think about that combat, you know, because I'm not sure that in the, the, the thrill of the moment, whether that was a smart idea, but it's kind of done now. So let's roll two dice for supply and the allies roll a nine. That's the best roll we've had so far in the game. Table. Nine is going to be above average. We're going to be on the 8 to 12 September column, which is the 6 column. So we're going to get 7 SP again. That's going to be a 4 and a 3, and I have to share them equally across the broad front. So we have to go like uh, someone's going to get one extra basically. So everyone will get two. Uh, and one will get three, and I've got the Commonwealth Supply, let's roll for that guy, and they roll a six, it's mediocre as always. Uh, six column, that's three SP this time. I can't do anything with three SP, people, I just can't. Uh, so that comes on the board, now we're gonna roll for replacements. Uh, shit, so I roll six. None of those things. Do I get a plus one? No, that's... I don't have any of the port. What's the Antwerp, so... Well, they say it's six foot... I get one frickin' pax. Can you believe that? This is gay, man. I, I don't understand what's going on. I don't know how the... Uh, how they're gonna do it. You don't want...